Hi everybody, Kaiwaza with you. Welcome back to my channel. Today we continue uh, going through my Hawaiian record collection. We're going one record at a time. And uh, yesterday, at a random, in a randomly drawn letter, I have 2,500 records about, so it's quite a long video series. <laughs> And uh, last week, or the last video, I should say, we started on the letter A. So we just did less atoms, I think was all we did in the last video. So actually today's video is probably just going to be one artist too, because they're fairly prolific and I have several uh, records from them. Uh, and that artist would be Mr. Leo Adeo. I believe it's pronounced Adeo. It might be Adeo. I don't really know. Uh, but... Uh, I, my collection goes back a long way with this guy because some of the earliest records I had uh, as a little kid actually um, were a couple of Leo Adeo albums and I still have them. Well, not the original ones. I've since replaced the originals, but I still have those albums. Now, this may be the first one and I think we're going to go through his albums uh, chronologically, I think. Um, but I didn't get them chronologically, obviously. And I think this, this or one other one, it was the very first one that I had. And I had it as a little kid. We're talking like, you know, seven, ten years old, something like that. Uh, which is called Hawaii in Hi-Fi. Leo Adeo and his orchestra. Now, um, this is an instrumental album with a, a pretty much a full-on orchestra. And uh, it's called, this is the stereo version, Hawaiian Hi-Fi, love the cover, right? And on the back it's called Hawaiian Stereo, because it is in stereo. I think there was a certain period of time where uh, after uh, stereo came out, it sort of came to be, when you said hi-fi, it sort of meant not high fidelity just, but sort of meant monaural almost for a while, like mono, mono and stereo, so... Anyway, uh, this record is from 1959, and it actually, I believe there's some reference, yeah, it was before the state, Hawaii became a state in 1959, this came out before statehood of that year because it, the liner notes mention about waiting for it to become a state. Anyway, um, yeah, this is uh, Instrumental Orchestra, Leo Adeo. Next in this series, or no, not that I got it next, but would be more Hawaii in Hi-Fi. Uh, this one came out in 1960. I think I showed the label. Uh, this is RCA Camden. This one I didn't know about until quite a bit later. I think I I never saw it anywhere, but I happened to come across it uh, probably well, well into my adulthood. I think when I was living in Portland, maybe at a record shop. You know, it's interesting. I was just thinking how different record collecting is, you know, now than uh, and for the the younger people that are doing it than for um, those of us who were uh, record collecting pre-internet. You know, because then, like, you didn't know unless you had a catalog or you had seen somebody's album or something. You didn't even really know what all was out there, what had been released. So, uh, you know, you couldn't go on the internet and look up Leo Adeo and go to Discogs and see everything that they had ever, you know, uh, put out. You couldn't do that. You didn't know. So it was just a matter of discovering things. And it was always really exciting to find something new that you didn't know about. Um, this one, I picked this up, I was young when I picked this one up too, uh, this was like at a, at a store I think in the Florence Mall in South Carolina, like J.C. Penney's or somewhere that was selling records. Great standards with a Hawaiian touch. I was excited to find it because I do like Leo Adeo and I, I like his arrangements. Uh, it's sort of big band-ish, 
like this one um, seemed like a much smaller ensemble though that they were trying to make sound larger uh, it's from 1962 and it's it's non-hawaiian songs but in uh, hawaiian arrangements <laughs> Here's one from 1963. Now he's doing one almost every year, right, Leo Adeo? So uh, it should come as no surprise to you that actually, although he did do other easy listening kind of albums, um, he was actually somewhat known for doing Hawaiian albums. This was kind of a speciality of his. Um, this one is uh, mono, so I kind of need to, I haven't really, but I need to be on the lookout to get a cheap stereo copy of it. Now here's an interesting one, quote unquote interesting one. Uh, the Exotic Music of the Pacific, Paradise Regained. This is on RCA Victor. It's from 1964, and it's part of the series. I don't know if you're familiar with these. There were a whole bunch of records done by different artists um, that are called Stereo Action. Stereo Action. The sound that your ears can follow. Because this was when stereo was kind of hot and new, and everybody was doing like ping pong percussion records and whatever. So these arrangements are uh, very stereophonic. <laughs> I mean, like, they purposely sort of, you know, like, some, something will be, tra and it travels like a xylophone or whatever, will be playing out of this ear and this speaker. And as you're listening, especially with headsets, it's really profound. Um, it will travel and move to the other ear, and the percussion will come over here, and the steel guitar will go parading past you. All in all, although it's very entertaining, kind of not a good concept in the sense that music doesn't, it's very unnatural. I mean, stereo is somewhat more of a, re, of a natural reproduction, somewhat. Uh, you know, and that different sounds are coming from different areas, but they don't typically move. I mean, it's not like musicians are in a band and the steel guitarist is moving back and forth while he's playing, you know, so it's very odd, very odd. Now this one also may be the first one. I don't know whether the Hawaiian Hi-Fi or this one was the first. I know I had them both when I was very, very young. Uh, Hawaiian Paradise, Leo Adeo. In fact, I remember buying this one originally. It was in a Woolworth in upstate New York when I lived in Horseheads. And my Aunt Betty on my father's side, uh, I would, you know, I was a little kid, so... We'd go shopping, and if I would find a Hawaiian record, I would pester whoever I was with, my parents or whoever, to like, come on, buy And I would take it and be like, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it for me, buy it for me. And she bought me this album. Uh, <laughs> this one, unlike all the other ones, is chorus. It's all vocal chorus. Uh, and interestingly, the copy I had initially, although... Um, Love Song of Kalua here is listed as a track on the version I had as a kid, even though it was just like this, it had the listing of Love Song of Kalua. That song was not on it, and instead uh, it had, it had uh, Sleepy Lagoon? It had Sleepy Lagoon twice on it. It had Sleepy Lagoon in place of uh, this one, which is not the original one I had, is, is correct. It's kind of weird. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> Oh, 
Leo Adeo and his orchestra, Musical Orchids from Hawaii. This record is 1966. Welcome to an Adeo Hula Tech. <laughs> Notice he took a stab at the uh, Les Baxter Quiet Village song. Then we have The Magic of Hawaii. I remember buying this one at a Kmart in Florence. Yes. And I was super excited about the, um, you know, the crazy cover. I mean, this is great. And this also is a chorus vocal album, and it's a much, it's significantly more modern and contemporary of uh, 1968 sounding. Uh, then I have this one, which I got not that long ago, actually from Japan, not released in the United States. Hawaiian Golden Album. Uh, it has all the usual songs. It has songs that Leo Deo had already recorded, but these are different versions of them. Um, and some of the sort of standard Japanese Hawaiian songs, like Kaimana Hila. They always have that. And uh, then finally, there was this song, which I've also had for a long time, but this is a compilation. Hawaii's Greatest Hits, this is just stuff from his other, other albums. Um, what I want to bring up, it's very interesting and I don't really know the story. I, I don't know, like the role of producers and everything that much. Herman Diaz produced a lot of these albums, Leo Adeo did a lot of arranging as well. Um, Many, 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 many of the songs on these albums, many of them, are actually completely reproduced. Different recordings, but exactly the same arrangements on this album, the Diamond Head Beachcombers, Aloha from Hawaii. It's um, it, this, this is so similar. These two albums, I mean, the arrangements are like you can put them on top of each other and they are the same, just different musicians, different recordings of it. And if you happen to have this set from the Long Jean Fanat, this is a five record set. Almost 100% of the songs on this album are, the arrangements are lifted directly from these. Exactly the same arrangements. Different recordings, exactly the same arrangements. And a few of the uh, songs on here are, are arrangements from Living Strings albums. Same arrangements. A couple of them. So this is all like Leo Odeo. It's all like re-recordings of the arrangements on those Leo Odeo albums. I don't know the story behind that, but uh, it's kind of interesting how that came to be. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this time. Uh, we'll catch you on the next video.